Okay, so this is my latest wrapping cloth that I really need to finish because it is actually a Christmas present for somebody. Um, so last night I managed to piece everything together. It was like a massive jigsaw puzzle and you maybe can't get a full, full view of it here. Um, but I will do my best to show you. So I've got a massive long seam up here that needs to be titivated. A massive seam up there that needs to be titivated. One there. Um, one down here. And I did that one last night. Um, yeah, so it might not seem like a lot, but it is. It's a lot of sewing there. You're probably talking one foot. About five foot's worth. Um, of sewing there that still needs to be done and then it'll have to be backed and I'm a bit undecided about the edges of this one because the people who are getting it are quite minimalist and I'm not sure they'd like anything OTT in terms of puffs or loops or anything going on so I haven't decided about that yet um, so it was just really to show you that that I've joined these sections together this is what I'm working on um, I am busy with it I'm not Oh, well I have neglected it but I'm not neglecting it anymore so this is one of the seams this is where something's been joined together it's about putting all my pieces together like a big jigsaw and then last night I started this seam and I've started doing bullion knots down there I'm going to do them all the way down there I have a lot of loose frippery going on already I think that might be enough for the people who this is for up here I've done like a double buttonhole seam to strengthen that because this was very fragile vintage cloth that was kind of melting when I went near it there's a massive French knot seam there got lots of layering um, and pretty pretty stuff going on there I've got padded applique going on here you know so and then there's lace here the edge of a lace handkerchief here so and these ribbons I don't ever attach ribbons to my work these were already on the cloth that I used so I've left them there and a couple of points here this is going to be a pocket this long thing down here um, and if you're in my class that I started this with don't forget when I'm back in this you will see that once I've got the back on and I come to do the rest of the process I will video that for you don't think I've forgotten because I haven't in fact my conscience is troubling me that you're still waiting to see that but you know so I, I'd never forget about you if you do one of my classes along here I'm not sure what I want to do along here but then I've got a massive seam down here so I'm gonna have to get my thinking cap on to try and vary what I'm gonna do on these edges and then I'm just going to turn, no I won't turn off, the other work I've had on my blog, there's a little rust mark here as well, which is quite annoying, but I think when you use vintage cloth, and that's got cross stitch on there, which is a very set linear pattern, um, and I don't want to put anything on there to cover that, but I do think when I explain to these people that this is vintage cloth, then they'll understand that, I don't think that'll be a problem, and if it is, they can give me it back, can't they? Now what was I going to say? oh so anyway yeah so i'm starting another wrapping cloth class um on the 18th of march that's listed in the shop now but for that i'm going to put a little bit of color in and i haven't got anybody in mind for that cloth because i think anybody who would appreciate one of these um has got one already now because i've made that many so it may well be that it's for me or it may well be that i wrap it in tissue and keep it upstairs for if I ever get a granddaughter so you know we'll see I've made no decisions about that but that's the one I've been working on my blog with cross stitch little bits of colour in on pieces of vintage cloth that is going to be the start that is the start of my next wrapping cloth so and I'll be working on that within the class when the class starts in March so that's it really I just wanted to tell you about this because you may see it quite a lot over the coming days it might take me about a week to finish this, I think, by the time I get all this hand stitching done and providing I don't get distracted. So you might be seeing a lot of this. So if it looks similar, it will be the same cloth, but hopefully different sections of it and you won't keep looking at the same piece every day.